Hello guys, uh, by watching this video, uh, you learn how to use your scientific calculator during your exam to calculate a lengthy equation with multiple input variables. If there are different uh, cases for your input variables in your problem, you don't need to type your equation, the whole equation, every time for each case. This saves you a lot of time during your exam. Uh, I now give you an example. Uh, okay, uh, consider this equation. Uh, this equation gives us resistance of a pipe against the flow like water in fluid mechanics. Uh, this equation includes uh, multiple parameters, a friction uh, of pipe, L is the length of the pipe, G is the gravitational acceleration, D, diameter of the pipe, rho is the density of the fluid like water and A is the cross-sectional area of the pipe which itself can be expressed in terms of uh, diameter. Uh, so if we put the constants in the equation in metric system uh, G is 9.81, rho uh, the density is 1000 and uh, then we have uh, three variables to obtain R. So here we have F, L, and D here. And if we have different sections, different cases for our problem with different uh, input parameters, then we have to calculate R uh, every time in our calculator. So we don't want to waste time during exam calculating each case. So we just define uh, this equation one time in our calculator and uh, every time we call this uh, equation with different uh, input variables so that saves a lot of time next i'm going to show you how to use your scientific calculator to uh, calculate these uh, resistance different resistance values Okay, the calculator I'm going to use today is Hyper Scientific Calculator, uh, which can be downloaded from Google Play for free. Basically, any other calculators, scientific calculators, can also be used. Uh, first, we need to define uh, our variables. If you remember from the equation, it has three parameters, three variables, F, L, and D. So, we just hit this button. Here we can define new variables. By default, we have x and y uh, here already defined. But since we are interested in defining our own variables, we put our variables. Here we define l length. I, I put the value later. Then another new variable, which is f so you define it on under name f as friction and also the, the third new variable which is d diameter of the pipe so we have these three new variables defined uh, now we can enter the equation that we have so we define our equation here. We have F times L on numerator. So we go to variable list, F times L. On the denominator we have two times 9.81 times diameter, another variable. So we go to variable list again, D times density which is 1000 for water squared times and cross-sectional area squared which is pi times variable d squared over 4 
squared. So this is the equation we have. So we enter the equation in terms of three parameters, f, l, and d. So you don't need to type five times, for example, for this problem. You just enter one time. And then for different cases, you go to variable list. And for section A, we had L as 20. So we put L here. We hit edit here and put the value here, 20. We go back. D, one meter. So we go for variable D. We hit this part and then edit. So value is one meter. And then we define F friction. Edit. Which is 0 0.02 for section A. And yeah, here we enter three values for D, L, and F. And then we go back and we see the result. So it's the same result as we had before. So this is for case uh, one or section uh, A of the problem. So we want to try it another one. So we go back and change the input variables. For example, for section E, we have length of 120 meters. So we go and hit this, edit, and we change the value to 120. We go back. For D, we have 0.6. For diameter, we have 0 0.6. And then for friction, we have uh, 0 0.02, the same value. So we just go back and we see we get, we get the same result. So this way, you save a lot of time in your exam. You don't need to write the whole equation uh, each time and assume that uh, if the equation is longer and more complicated, uh, then it's more time consuming. So this way you just type it one time on your calculator, on your scientific calculator, and then you just get your results. Uh, it is as easy as that. So that should work for other scientific calculators. Uh, so just explore that feature in your uh, calculator before exam and make sure that you are ready for this feature. Okay guys, uh, if you found this video helpful and useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see our future videos uh, like this, uh, hit the subscribe button. And that way you will get notifications whenever new content like this comes out. All right, uh, that's all I have for you today. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and see you next time. Thank you.